Welcome to the Fusion Artist Studio. My name is Ed Breen, and each week we sit down and have a little discussion with an artist in one form or another in Marion and Grant County. It's the function of the uh, Fusion Arts Alliance to contact as many artists as possible to involve them in the development and the future of the arts in Marion and Grant County. Today our guest is Ryan Brown. Hello. Ryan, give us the Reader's Digest version of who you are and why you're here. I am a local artist that is an individual and I am part of the Mississauga Valley Band. I am the president and public relations manager. Tough act to follow. You started under uh, John Brain. John Brain. Okay. <laughs> a senior moment. Uh, John Brain, who it was it was his his baby. It was. For he has years. chosen to uh, go off and play a little bit on his own. He's still performing mm -hmm. in the band. Um, tell us what it's like to succeed somebody like that. It has been very interesting. I mean, we've. It was uh, the moment he told us he was going to stop. It was we need to find somebody to replace them, and it was a good almost six months before we found somebody to replace him. Um, as far as director of bands, but as president and most and running the organization, it's a little different. So I've never had to run a nonprofit. <laughs> As with all not-for-profits, you have to be struggling right now because mm -hmm. you need to have a venue, yep. <clears throat> you need to have an audience, uh, you need to have performers who are close together, not socially distanced. Yep. How are you dealing with that? How, how do you intend to deal with it during the coming season? Well, we're still working on that. We're still trying to see what we can make, make up may come up because we can't as performers can't play in masks because <laughs> you can't play an instru uh, any instrument with a mask on um, let alone talk <laughs> yeah. um, so we are still in the process of trying to figure that all out we don't exactly know what the season is going to look like we've had stuff planned that we've had to pull off um, we've had only one concert this season so far and we started our season started in February for our 20 first season so it's been well, your last concert was just before the world locked down wasn't it it was december yeah. was our okay. last concert we officially had before other dimensions to your life you are a musician mm -hmm. yourself do you play in the band i do i actually play in the swing band i play saxophone in the swing band i also play in the con our concert band and i play saxophone and or percussion depending on which which one i needed more for <laughs> <laughs> and you and you teach music. I do. I teach private lessons. I teach saxophone and piano at um, CSA. Also, I just started this last last semester teaching voice as well. Oh, really? Are you a singer? I used to be. <laughs> I used to be involved in a children's choir when I was younger. Um, did help with the community choir that the band restarted four years ago. Okay. So we have that community choir going. Still, they haven't been able to meet yet, though. <laughs> what What drew you to instrumental music? That was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. So I started with music in fourth grade. So that okay. Was, I just had a passion for it. My parents always thought I was going to be a musician and follow in their in their footsteps because my both of my parents were musicians um, through school. So here just, in Marion, were you were you, were you born and reared in Marion? I actually in Fairmount, so okay, um, part of that. So my father actually came from Wisconsin, so that was a that's a different realm because <laughs> Wisconsin music is a lot. Uh, the Wisconsin district of schools is a lot different than us, our our schools down here. Now be so. careful! I lived in Wisconsin <laughs> for a year and a half. So come from the hills down to walk the town around. So it was a lot, a lot different up there, because yeah. like here we don't have a lot. Like my school, when I went through high school, we didn't have marching band. And you went to Madison Grant. I went to Madison Grant. All ten years, all twelve years. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, and your day job now is with the extension yep. service. Talk about that just a little bit. So, um, so I'm, my day job. I work for Purdue Extension here in Grant County. I am the administ our administrative assistant. So I'm the very first person you hear when you when people call our office so, okay and per first per person people see to you and that too is an agency that has struggled a little mm -hmm. bit in recent years to get the funding that it needs to do what it wants to do mm -hmm. so almost everything you're involved in you're struggling to get the money and resources that yep. you want 
Talk about, uh, you were involved very early on in the Fusion Arts Alliance, mm -hmm. uh, going all the way back to the listening sessions that were held, yeah. what, a couple of years ago now. Talk about what you saw as the need then and what progress we have made since then. Yeah, well, I'm still very, very young, so it, me, my vision of what the arts needed was to be to be known like with our with our organization with the organization mm, with the MVB we've been around for 20 years so it was being known and and um, I don't know what the word is I want but <laughs> um, just having a, a face an awareness an awareness of what we are and that's what the arts the arts needed was to be more of an awareness like we have CSA which is which has done great and awesome um, creating a visual uh, awareness. So. Uh, trying to cover the spectrum, are there enough people involved in Fusion Arts Alliance to cover the spectrum of the arts, everything from writing to dancing to music and everything in between? We could always use more. <laughs> tell, um, me, tell me where the needs are. Um, I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> um, could always use people that are in the in the writing field, um, and the and the music field. Because right now, right now, I it feels very populated with the artist, the art, the arts, the art, the visual artists, the visual arts, not more okay. the performing arts. Because I feel like well, we have Hoosier Shakes, which is involved with that, and then we have um, <laughs> I've lost their name, Marion Civic, which is involved. Civic which Theater, is very performing art. Um, based and so, and they've gotten a, a, an infusion of new people coming in, mm -hmm. wanting to do things that are breaking the mold a little mm -hmm. bit. So, yeah. Uh, Troy, you another dimension of your life is the whatever we're calling it, in that courtyard down on the yeah. north side collide. of the courthouse square. Yeah. Court, uh, collide. collide. Talk about that. So collide is a. Um, venue for artists um, or if you're wanting to find learn more about art as well in our organization so we have collide which is a from 5 30 to 8 30 so we have workshops um, for an hour then we have different artists coming in so we in the past we've had um, oh geez we've had Marsha Vermillion in we've had um, no, Layla Price. Before. Layla Price was there. We had Samantha Keith, Keith Ray K. was there mm -hmm. last week or the week before. Yep. So, so we've had lots of different from around the county um, and around the the state actually because uh, oh the group from Fort Wayne I've lost their name. Um, we've had lots I've of performed. people. Mm -hmm. How did the, where did the name Collide come from? That does are you referring to the idea of a merging of various art forms at the same event mm -hmm. yep. collision yep i'm not exactly we're really sure where the name came from um don automaeus took care of that and i have no idea where actually the founding name came from so have you uh, performed in that venue we have not our, our group is not um we were asked to but then with everything going on we had to kind of pull it so but i've been there every week except one so as you pointed out, you're young. Uh, what, are the, what are the uh, things that you want to be doing over the next five, ten years in Marion and Grant County in the arts? Um, keeping, keeping our, keeping like one, of, the one thing is keeping the community, our community group alive, and trying to um, make an awareness of of the performing arts. And because the MEB not is all not known as a as a um, full volunteer organization. None of us get paid. Um, to do what we do, we just do it out of the enjoyment. Um, our big slogan that we've used is to unite generations through music, and that's what we've continued to do for the last 21 years. Um, so keeping that alive and kind of keep um, that on the forefront of people's minds, and keeping because our, our our audience population is is in the older in the older state, but we want to keep our younger people involved too and get them to start your coming. involvement in CSA is yeah kind of a rewarding experience and that you get a chance to bring people in at a uh, impressionable age mm -hmm. yep because um, I the youngest I've taught so far has been a kindergartner um, 
So getting them involved in the music realm at that age, if they have a when they have a passion for it, starts off well, and it keeps them wanting to go far. What's your personal preference as an instrument? What do you What do you play for fun? Um, my biggest one is the saxophone and piano. So I like to play both of them as much as I can but when I can. But not simultaneously. But not simultaneously. If I had more arms, yes, that would be great. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> but we're not built that way, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. Ryan, if you could deliver a message to folks in Marion and Grant County uh, who are over on the uh, edge of the playing field, you want to bring them in, what would you ask of them? What would you offer them? As far as just participation, general, participation. In, in the community life, do it. <laughs> just pick up. Don't don't let anything drag drag you down, or um, just be a part and be involved and help make our society better for what it is. Ryan Brown, thank you. We appreciate your time. We want to thank Abby Coffee for playing host to our gathering today, and we will have more conversation about more art in the future.